Hi, welcome. My name is Turbo Tiger, and uh, this is my review of the Vision X4585 based on a uh, Clevo uh, P150SM barebone chassis. It can be bought around the world under different names depending on who the supplier is in the end. I've been hunting for a laptop for a while to play some games whilst I'm on the travels. I've been testing this. Uh, before this I had the Lenovo Y510P uh, with the uh, 755 SLI. Uh, not very impressive really. Uh, I like uh, a good build quality and this has really good build quality. Uh, sturdy chassis, sturdy screen and also uh, absolutely no flex whatsoever in the uh, keyboard. It comes with the uh, Intel uh, i7 uh, 4700MQ and the fastest uh, mobile graphic card at the moment, the uh, NVIDIA GTX 780M and it gives really good performance, I think. And uh, in a short while I'll come up with a few uh, benchmarks. First of all, uh, my most often played game, World of Tanks, coming up in uh, just a few seconds. It plays the game really well. Uh, World of Tanks does seem to be very uh, poorly optimized, so it doesn't run very well on uh, many computers, in my experience anyway. But it runs uh, fairly well on uh, this uh, laptop. It's recorded with everything set to maximum, with the exception of uh, FXAA. I can actually run the game with FXAA on, but uh, just to get a proper recording, I turned it off because the recording software does actually impact uh, performance uh, slightly. So, record without FXAA, but as I just wrote, uh, with it on and just playing, not recording, it will give you a steady 35 to 40 frames per second at uh, 1080p and everything set to maximum. Don't mind my gameplay here, it's just uh, to test my new laptop. So, I'm just trying to figure out. Uh, I was working. This was actually my very, very first game on this laptop, so uh, actually quite good uh, performance. I was uh, very impressed from the word go, so no big issues with that. That was uh, the main issue for me buying this laptop. Later on, I'll uh, go on to do some benchmarking with Hitman and also uh, Company of Heroes 2, which is uh, normally a program that also really puts a huge strain on that. But watch the rest of the video and enjoy. As I mentioned earlier, I had the uh, Lenovo Y510P with the uh, 755 SLI uh, just a couple of days ago, actually. I, that was the first one I bought. The, the uh, choice came down to between these two laptops, and I tried the Lenovo first as it was cheaper in Denmark, around 7,500. Uh, actually, no, sorry, around 8,500 krona. But um, several things with it uh, made me return it. Uh, first of all, it seemed to hang a lot. Uh, I don't know if I had a buggy uh, version. Also, I had a little bit of issues with the keyboard. Uh, the A key was a little bit sticky. And, uh, in general, I had to, uh, just within the first couple of days, restore it two or three times, and I eventually figured out that. Uh, this uh, laptop was not for me. So I uh, went ahead and ordered uh, this uh, X4585 from MM Vision in Denmark. And uh, as uh, I had been looking at reviews around uh, the world from different uh, vendors with different names, but all based on the same uh, chassis, the Clevo uh, P150SM. I was very happy with my choice once I got this right out of the box. I found it was very, very sturdy, well built, uh, has no glossy parts, uh, not really uh, that easy to get fingerprints on it, uh, as uh, opposed to the Lenovo, which got fingerprints on it if you just looked at it. So, this is a very uh, much, much better product. It's uh, again very well built, uh, had no technical issues with it whatsoever. I've been doing a lot of benchmarking and fooling around with the settings already and I haven't uh, managed to mess it up yet, so uh, really good. So now just for the final RAM of an arty here, and uh, then we go to Hitman. Initially you tested Hitman with everything set to max without uh, the uh, MSA, uh, MSAA. Uh, that's also mainly due to a uh, 
performance hit uh, whilst recording. So I'll give you the recording with everything set to high uh, or maximum and then um, after that I'll just uh, show you the results of the same test with the uh, MSAA set to uh, 8 uh, times which is the maximum and actually also gives a very good result there. Uh, if you haven't played Hitman Absolution uh, I think it's absolutely fantastic game. One of the best stories in a game I've ever had. Uh, I really just kept on playing just to figure out what was going to happen next. Almost like we were watching some kind of a suspense series in television. We couldn't wait until the next episode. Uh, as you see, uh, a lot of intensive graphics here. It run ab ran absolutely smooth during recording. It could be a little bit of jerkiness during the playback. I don't know. I'm no expert in actually. Uh, making videos as such. I might be doing something wrong. Uh, I'm actually doing this in Windows uh, Movie Maker which is a fairly basic uh, deal in terms of uh, video software so I'm told there's a lot better options out there but nevertheless I mean for something as simple as this and with my level of experience it does the job very well. So now we did the same test once again, uh, this time just with the 8 times anti-aliasing uh, and uh, didn't record the test itself, but the result is there, uh, average FPS almost 41, so uh, pretty good. Off to uh, Company of Heroes 2, which is a really good game in my experience. Uh, did the uh, recording with everything set to maximum, with exception of uh, AA, which is set to low. Uh, runs very well. There's just one little stutter in the beginning of the test, uh, just as this SU-76 advances forward. I don't know why it's happened on all my tests, uh, also on different PCs, so I think it's done some internal issue with the uh, benchmark built into the game. Overall, uh, just stunning graphic, lots of effects, uh, destructible uh, environment uh, next to the Havoc engine. Generally, uh, also very, very good game. Uh, I enjoy it uh, immensely. And um, even with the, the recording, it uh, comes up with reasonably good uh, results in terms of uh, FPS. So, in all, uh, uh, very good performance from the uh, X4585 or the Clio P150SM. So, here's the uh, results, and um, there it is. And then I performed the test again with everything set to maximum and AA high. But I only recorded the result again this time because uh, the recording software itself doesn't make any sense to record because the PC is just too loaded. So without the recording software, that's the result also a very nice result. Then just went through the fire strike uh, from uh, 3D Mark, uh, decent result there. Also uh, the 3D Mark Vantage, uh, very good result. And finally the 3D Mark. 11 result. So overall, this is a laptop with uh, probably some of the best performance you can get in that price range at the time.